where I'm sitting right now, my living room window is right in front of me. And that's the ocean. That's what I can sit here every morning and I can watch that sun come up over the water every day. Meet Wanda Bootlier from Mushaboom, a rural community of less than 100 people in eastern Nova Scotia. With her husband Kenny getting up before dawn to go lobster fishing, she rarely misses a sunrise or a photo of one. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. I love it. So Kenny will get there and he's like, what, you're taking another picture? It's the same thing. I'm like, I know, but it there's some mornings there's clouds, some mornings it's clear, then other things like some mornings it's orange and then it's pink and then like it's just there's so many different colors and it's just so pretty. As anyone who lives on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean knows, the weather can turn on a dime. And that's perfectly fine for Wanda. I love storms, love them. And people think I'm crazy, but I do. When you hear that the storms are coming from the east, it's coming directly at my house. One of those storms was Hurricane Dorian. We were watching it and we were paying attention to the weather and, and watching the waves and stuff. And when the when the swells started coming up and and then we could see water starting to hit the bank and crest the bank a little bit, I said, okay, we're, we're leaving for higher ground now. And we couldn't even go to our front door because it, the wind was that bad that it would like it, the pressure on the door and everything. So we had to, we went out the back. I asked Wanda if she was afraid at all. <laughs> no. She laughs. No, I hate, I hate when the storms come at night when I can't watch them. In fact, I don't think there's a lot that intimidates Wanda. This past summer, she told her husband Kenny that she wanted to get on the lobster boat and not just to watch. I said, I'm coming to, to, to do work. And that's what I did. I did the bait bags and I banded some lobsters and didn't haul traps, but that's, yeah, that's that's for another day. But it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. And I told him, I said, I'm gonna go do it again next year. So next hot lobster season, I'm gonna go do it again. With her perfect view of the Atlantic, it would be difficult to choose her favorite photo. But I had to ask. There is one picture in particular that stands out. It was one that she took following the tragic mass shooting in Nova Scotia in April 2020. That night, the skies in Nova Scotia everywhere lit up this pink. And everybody was talking about these the pink sky because it was unreal and it was all over Nova Scotia. I took a picture of the Canadian flag and with this pink sky, and it was in the, uh, the Chronicle Herald newspaper. That photo, taken from the tiny community of Mushaboom, got national attention, much to the shock of the woman who took it. In the end, after hundreds of sunrises, it was in fact a sunset that put Wanda Bootlier in the spotlight. It was just so symbolic that, you know, with that tragedy in these pink skies, like, and everybody in Nova Scotia had these same skies, so, it's it's pretty neat to see to see that like you know like these are my pictures